there everyone. Welcome to Pour Painting with Ron. In today's video we're going to be doing a pearl pour. Now if you're not familiar with a pearl pour, here is a picture of one that I did a little while ago. Um, gives you a little bit of an idea of the sort of look that we are going for. The idea with a pearl pour is to put some a pool of metallic paint on your canvas first and then pour some colours over the top. You may do a ring pour or a straight pour. And as you stretch out your colours over the top of the metallic paint, the metallic paint will pop through making your pearls. Now, the colours that I'm going to use today are mostly Montmartre colours. And I've decided to go with blues and blacks in the background with silver pearls popping up through. It should look really nice, if it works, that is. Anyway, the colours I'm using today are um, the Thalo Blue, nice dark blue. It starts out looking light, but as it dries, it goes quite dark. And then Cerulean Blue, a bit of black. And then to make the pearls today, I'm using my favourite metallic paint. I'm using the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallics. And the colour today is sterling silver. As you can see behind me, I've got lots and lots of those extreme sheen colours. They're really bright and they're great to use for techniques like this. Now, the trick with this sort of pour is um, you need to have your metallic colour fairly thick. And the colours that you pour over the top need to be on the thin side. If the colours are too thick, then your metallic won't be able to pop through and make your pearls. And so my mix is going to be a lot thinner than I would normally use if I was doing a ring pour or a straight pour. You'll see the consistency in a little bit. Now my pouring medium today is going to be Floetrol and I'm not using any silicone at all. Now for the colours, I mix them up about one part paint to about two parts um, Floetrol and a bit of water to get the right consistency. About the metallic, I did one part Floetrol and a little bit un, a little bit over one part of the metallic paint. To keep that a little bit thicker than my paints I'm going to put at the front. Now the canvas I'm going to use today is a thin edge canvas, 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres. I've made sure it's nice and tight. If yours is too loose, just spray the back with a bit of water and use a blow dryer to blow dry it and that'll tighten up your canvas. Mostly that, that'll that be fine. Then I've used some painter's tape to tape off the back and some giant push pins to keep the canvas off the surface of the table. Now normally for a canvas of this size, I'd use about 640 grams of paint. But with this technique, you want only just enough paint to cover your canvas. If you have too much paint on your canvas, the metallic won't th come, come through. And if you have to tip too much off the side, you're going to take all the metallic paint underneath with it. So you only want enough to just cover your canvas. It's a little bit tricky. I haven't always been successful in the past. So rather than... 650 grams. I've kept it down to about 500 grams of paint today for this size canvas. 80 of those grams is that metallic paint. So that's left me with about 420 grams that I've divided up amongst the rest of these colours. Um, you can divide it up whichever way you like. I mixed up more of the blues than I did the black. But it's totally up to you, of course. Okay, so let's get started. Right, so here we are. I've got my paints mixed up. As you can see, I've got my silver here. So that was about 80 grams. And if I swirl, I get a little mound showing. It stays there for a couple of seconds before it disappears. So I keep that a little on the thick side. Then I've only got about 100 grams of black here. As you can see, it's very, very thin. If 
I drip it off the spoon. I only get a, a tiny little mound as I'm dripping it out. And I've tried to keep that consistency the same across all of the colors. And you see, it's very runny, just a little mound, much runnier than I would normally use if I was doing a ring pour or a dirty pour. Right? And I've tried to keep the consistency the same. So you may need to adjust the amount of flow troll and water you use just to get the same consistency across all of the colors. Now I'm going to layer my colors in a large cup. I may not use all the light blue. I may go over the amount that I, I really need, but we'll see how we go. So I'll start off with black because I'd like black to be in the center. And then I'll just dribble down the other colors down the side. I think that'll do. I won't use all the light blue. So I may have too much paint. Okay. My canvas. Hopefully you can see it. All right, now the idea is to do the, the puddle of your metallic first, whatever color you are going to use. I'll do that in the center. Now when you stretch it out, you have to do it really fast because you don't want to stretch when the pearls are coming through because you'll stretch, you'll make them look odd. So the idea is to stretch really quick and not play too much with it. So that's the metallic. Okay, fingers crossed. Bring it in closer. Okay, Ooh, hopefully it won't be too dark. I may have too much paint, but we'll see. So I'm not going to mess around. I'll bring it over that corner. Back to the middle. Sign. Now hopefully we'll get some pearls coming through. I'll be a bit sad if we don't. Back to the middle. To this corner. Okay, bring it back 
to the middle. Okay. Now hopefully there isn't too much paint left on the canvas. I'll just wipe my hands a bit and I'll torch it and that will encourage the silver to pop through. Now I'm hoping I haven't tipped the silver all off the edge and I'm hoping there's not too much paint left on the canvas to stop the silver coming through. So we shall see. I won't get too close. They do take a little while to pop up. So just gently heating up the paint. happening yet. Okay, hmm, I was hoping to get some more pearls popping up by now, but I'll leave it set for a little while and we'll come back and see what's happened. So we're back, it's been about half an hour and as you can probably see, the pearls have developed quite a bit over that time. Um, still, yeah, it's, I didn't get as many as I wanted, but I'll bring you in for a closer look so you can see how it turned out. So there we go. As you can see, the painting painting still works. It uh, gives the impression of the night sky, I think. So I'll bring you down and you can see the pearls happening. So they are, are really quite, quite pretty. I like this corner. And then we've got the pearls happening at the top there. And a few down the side. So overall, I think the painting is quite nice. So as I said before, the overall painting works, but I think I could do better. I think um, I had a couple of issues with this pour that I want to fix in the next one. Firstly, I think there was too much black, so I'll use less black in my next one. And I think I had too much paint on the canvas and I had to tip off too much, losing some of my silver. And I think it was still too thick in places on the canvas for the, the silver to actually come through. So what I'm going to do is prepare another canvas, mix up some more paints, and we'll do another one just to see if we can get a bit of a lighter looking painting and some more pearls happening. 
So we'll be back in a second. Righto, so here we are again, all cleaned up, ready to do our second try. So I've got my same cup as before, reuse that one, and I've mixed up some paint. So I had a bit of black left from last time, and that's the only black I'm going to use. So a bit in the centre. And then I'll dribble the light blue down the side a bit more than I did last time. Some dark blue. That's all I'm going to use this time. So you can see it is less than I used last time in my cup. My canvas, I've made sure it's level. Okay, here we go again. So pour my silver in the middle. Just a straight pour. Do some wiggles. I have to be careful to catch any drips when I have finished. There we go. Well, that already looks lighter than last time. And I do have less paint on the canvas. Okay, now you do want to move reasonably quickly. Not mess around. Go to the corner. Back to the middle. We'll go back to this corner. to this corner bring my paint back to the middle and then we'll go down to this corner Hopefully we'll get a few more pearls happening this time. Okay, bring my paint back. Don't have too long to think about composition here.
just move the paint a little bit encourage the pearls to pop through and hopefully I haven't lost my silver over the side right -o. definitely lighter than the last one which is good now you don't want to go tilting again once you have pearls there because then the pearls go out of shape right now we'll give it a torch the heat will help bring pearls up to the surface Does take a while for them to pop up. Almost run out of gas in this can. Nothing's going to happen in the black, or not much anyway, but we've certainly got pearls happening around the outside so you can imagine that when you pour the paint onto the metallic it's going to push the metallic out towards the sides this black was in the center so I've probably pushed over the metallic off this corner that's why we're not getting cells on that corner but that doesn't matter Okay, now like last time we'll let it sit for about half an hour or so and then we'll come back and I'll show you the, the finished result. But it's already looking nicer I think than the last one. So we'll be back. So it's been about 20-25 minutes or so since you last saw this painting and as you can probably notice the pearls around the sides have developed quite a bit. Um, I'll bring you in for a closer look. Here we go. Hopefully you can see it. I'm holding the camera above my head. I, I like this painting better than the other one. I think both are nice. But I do like this one better. It's, it's just, a, just a touch brighter. As you can see that the pearls are lovely. And there's some interesting designs happening in the background as well. I could probably even do with less paint in the cup than I had before. 
and stretch it out a bit more, encouraging some more of those pearls to come through. If you notice this corner, this black was in the center and I don't think I got pearls here because I tipped all my silver off that corner. That's always the risk you take when you tip paint off a pour such as this, that you're going to take your metallics along with it. You rarely get any pearls in the middle. The paint tends to be a bit thicker and also most of the metallic has been pushed out to the sides. But I think this one turned out really nice. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Um, I hope with all my messing around today that you did learn a little bit about how to do a successful pearl pour today. It's not really that difficult if you keep a few things in mind. Firstly, keep your metallics thick. Keep your colours on the top thin. The thinner, the better really. The easier it is for the metallic to pop through. And use as little paint as you possibly can on the top layer so that by the time you've spread it out you don't have to lose a lot over the side taking the metallic with it and that it's thin enough on your canvas for that metallic to pop through. If it's too thick the metallics just won't come through and you'll you won't you won't get any pearls or you may only end up with teeny weeny little pearls. So keep those tips in mind and you should be able to do a successful pearl pour yourself. I'll certainly do more of these and make more videos. I've got lots of colours I like to try and I think with the next one I'll even try to use less paint than I used today just to see if it, it makes much of a difference. So as usual if you did like what you see today please press the like button it helps people find my videos in YouTube land and if you'd like to see more of my videos please take a moment to subscribe. So until next time, happy painting.